Kira, so in this uh, extended interview, I'm talking to Phoenix Karaka, who's just uh, signed on with the uh, Pulse for 2016. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. I guess, talk us through that then, what, what led you to want to sign with the Pulse? It was definitely a hard decision to make because I've been with the Steel for three years and it's like leaving my family. So I think what appealed to me was Tanya Jones being a defensive um, specialist coach and also playing alongside Katrina Grant, um, making that connection with her. Was the Pulse your, your first choice? Um, no, I, home was the first choice, you know, going back to the Mystics, but um, Pulse really wasn't in, I think, what I wanted to, you know, where I wanted to be. But um, looking at the pros and the cons, the Pulse were probably the better team to go to for me, yeah. There are a number of players uh, within the Pulse uh, side that uh, squad that are a part of the Ferns, how much of an advantage would that be for yourself? You know, we look, we talk about combinations, yeah. uh, you're going to be playing alongside Katrina Grant uh, next year and so that combination is going to start to develop over yeah. the years and it, in some cases it'll be an advantage for yourself to continue to, uh, I guess, be successful to be selected for the Ferns. Yeah, definitely and I think that was the reason why I chose to go to the Pulse, um, just being able to absorb what they have to offer to me and um, just being alongside them I think would help boost my confidence and know what to expect when I do go into the environment of the Ferns. Being 21 years old, um, yeah. you're talking about leadership, yeah. uh, I guess at what point um, will you really push yourself to become part of the leadership group for the Pulse and eventually uh, you know, leadership group for the Silver Ferns? I think it starts now, yeah. it's going to be hard but um, you know, if that's something that I want to do, I just need to show that I can do it. And um, I'm normally the goofy one in the team, but I think a lot of people have really seen that I can be a leader when I put my mind to it. I think it's just, for me, um, I lack a bit of consistency through the season, but like, I definitely know that I can do it. Your three years uh, with the Steel, you learnt a lot, uh, and, and it was also an opportunity for yourself to show your worth and be selected for the uh, Silver Ferns. What was that experience like coming from the Steel into the Silver Ferns? It was it was different, you know, because in the Steel team we've got such a young team and um, we didn't have many Ferns in our team or experienced players. But um, the Ferns is quite a you know a big stand, a step up from franchise. Just having everyone you know knowing what they want to do and getting the job done and it's a big learning curve, obviously and. I just want to strive to be like that consistently. Like I think at times I'm um, like that a wee bit through the season, but I just want to be like, you know, cause Casey Corkua, who's just always like that and netballs her job and it's just consistent like performance on court and off court. I guess one of the most uh, interesting things that I've noticed uh, through your playing career is the intercepts and the way you play uh, indoor netball has, yeah. has really enhanced the way you play uh, yeah, um, Wise made a comment that I don't have like a defensive structured game and she thinks that I'm just an in instinct player and I, I agree with her 100% because you know growing up I was a goal attack, goal shoot so it was um, a hard transition but um, I think with indoor, indoor's really helped me to pull that ball in because indoor you can't tap the ball and bounce it and whatever and then catch it so yeah. it's really taught me to just pull the ball in with two hands and when I don't pull the ball in with two hands I'm always like indoor netball you know just two hands no replays when I'm going for ball so. There's a lot of young players coming through the system at the moment um, and eventually you're going to shape the way yeah. the Silver Ferns are going to are going to be in the next couple of years. Um, you you kind of thought about that at all? Not really. I, I I did think about it just yesterday um, when one of the younger girls from Māori Netball had commented on my um, Pulse signing and um, she said that she aspired to be like me and uh, I was like, oh wow, like, you know, because I'm so young I still don't feel like I'm anyone to look up to because I'm still looking up to like the likes of Casey Kōkua and Katrina Grant. So In closing, everybody wants to play in the World Cup. Yeah. Everybody wants to play in the World Cup. What would it mean for yourself to play in the World Cup if you got selected and you were in the squad? It'd be my dream to obviously play in the World Cup, especially this young, and um, I'd just be really excited and whatever court time I get, um, I'd just, I think I'd be really starstruck 
that I'm actually there at, so, at a young age. But um, yeah, I think I just want to absorb the, you know, the atmosphere and just being in that environment. So not with this, um, not just being with this, the Silver Ferns, but the World Cup in itself. So yeah, it'd be amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs>